Welcome to King Lizard's Game Lounge. This is Forza Horizon, a nice retro game from old here on Xbox 360. And today I'm driving the Nissan GTR Skyline on the event Desert Run, which is one of the career based events in the game. And this was actually a street race. So I'm playing it in hard difficulty because I was finding that the normal mode was a little bit too easy for me. So I kind of pumped it up a bit just to make it that bit harder and hopefully that bit more interesting to watch. I've kind of left these guys behind me at the moment, but obviously a mistake or two will get me in hot trouble. These AI, you know, these hard AI guys will really catch up if you screw up. They, you know, they don't hang about. So so far so good. I'm burning them off the uh, grid there. They're out of the map view now. So see what we can do with this. I'm at 35% hitting 155 mile an hour. Absolutely storming it here. Crazy fast girl. Got a corner there, might want to stop for that. Yeah, nicely controlled in the end. Quite a lot of slowdown though, that allowed those computer AI guys to gain a bit of ground on me. And what I'm going to do is, once I've done this race, I'm going to leave the replay on afterwards so you can admire it from the external. Check out this Nissan GTR Skyline and the circuit or event Desert Run. I didn't really like Forza Horizon. I must admit, originally when I played Forza Horizon, I got quite bored of it quite quick because I spent a lot of time online. I didn't actually hardly play any of the career, so I'm actually doing that now, which is what some of these posts are about, obviously, that I'm putting up. You're probably thinking, why the hell is he putting up Forza Horizon when it was out years ago? But uh, I like, you know, gaming memories and stuff, and I like to uh, record what I do and stuff just so I can watch it back at some point if I feel like a bit of nostalgia or whatever. Plus also to educate other people if they're not, you know, if they weren't around gaming when Forza Horizon was out and some people out there have got an Xbox 360, they can see what the game's about. You know, it is a very good racing game. Not as good obviously as Forza Horizon 2, but Forza Horizon 2 is next gen, much bigger map and, you know, a good selection of cars as well, plus they look that a little bit nicer. So check out the replay there, that looks a bit ominous, kind of flying up in the air there from the rear. Lots of nice sort of organ looking trees and stuff in this particular event. Quite a tight narrow section this one through the park, it's a place where you can easily make mistakes. You do have to try drive with some pretty good care and attention through there to keep ahead. So they're nowhere near, you know, near me at this point. So I was quite surprised to get out this quick with hard AI, to be honest. Um, that was ridiculously fast. I mean, all I did obviously with this Forza, you can only slap parts on the car and just hope it handles. There isn't any way to tune the cars like in Forza Horizon 2 and the original Forza Horizon. So, but that's pretty much the replay race over any minute now i just like to say big thanks to everyone watching please do rate and subscribe it'd be great to have you aboard king lizard's game lounge if you're not already a subscriber i've got plenty of gaming action for forza 5 build up as well as forza horizon and forza 4 event list i've also got some well plenty more multiplayer forza Horizon 2. I've also got a crash compilation I'm going to be putting together in the next week or so from a variety of different games. And of course on September 10th I'll start building up a repertoire of Forza Motorsport 6 content for the channel and that will obviously take priority over a lot of other things on the channel when that game is released. So I look forward to being able to show you off that game. I will be sticking up a my demo runs of that game just for those of you that haven't had time to look at the demo. So thanks for watching again. Take care. 